hello everyone so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to create a image classification model in google cloud platform using a app auto ml so what we're going to do is take two images and then i'm going to train it so that the machine can understand and predict when an image is given so let's say whether it's ramen or spaghetti so i'm going to use my two favorite meals so the first class would be ramen and the class b would be spaghetti so you don't have to worry about that much if you're not familiar with machine learning or deep learning so what we're going to do is let the machine understand what are the images and then try to predict that picture let's say that i'm going to upload and say the machine to hey machine so just look at it and just tell whether it's ramen or spaghetti so you don't have to, this is the, the process i'm going to follow is literally no code so you don't have to worry about training a model all you're just going to do is sit and click so i'm going to show you guys how to do this so let's dive into the video we are in the home page of the google cloud platform console so just click the navigation menu and then let's go for uh there is it auto ml so i think it's, it won't be available as auto ml i think under um, let's see where big data no we want artificial intelligence yeah so vision uh, just go dashboard and then take some time so this is what we want to do train a custom model to classify images so just click get started Narish uh, wants us to create a data set so most of the machine learning enthusiasts might know we need a data set so that our model can train on I'm just gonna need it so we can give a name let's say ramen spaghetti so just go this is multi level classification just go create data set so this data set is created so you might want to upload some images for the training purposes so we just need a cloud storage bucket for the destination to be so let's say we are uploading some files from the computer so it needs to be stored so what we will do is we just go just create a bucket so i'm pretty sure you have come here without creating any buckets so i'll just go with the uh, this big bucket name so that is unique just give okay okay so this this uh, we'll go this go for i mean we continue and then we keep standard we continue and then we create go inside we create a new folder we'll keep a name ramen so that when we upload ram and files it gets stored here so then we might have an idea when we're looking upon going into the bucket and then seeing checking if the files are organized for us so just select this one and then select files see i'm in ramen so just go uh, for for some purposes i'm for some simplicity purposes i'll just upload some images not that much so let's see okay we'll upload these kind of images 64 images as you can see here it says at least 100 images for best results so what might we might go for the entire yeah we'll go for the entire images in my folder so just open so it says 99 files that's good but it said 100 but anyway let's go we just just load I will just speed up this process so that you you don't have to be waiting in this video so you can also check for the mail they once this is done you'll get a mail with something like this finished importing data into data set ram and spa so i'll just skip this video or just stop it or i'll just cut it out while editing so so as you can see all the files all the ram and images have been uploaded so if you as i said if you can check it says all the files been import finished importing to this data set 
so now if you look i've added you might be thinking i added 99 so in the in the behind the scenes while i stopped the video i added that one file so we have 100 files of ramen now so we know this is ramen but we need to add a label so that these images are labeled as ramen for the machine learning model to understand the deep learning model to understand so what we're going to do is add a new label so we're going to give the name ramen let me give it done and then as this all the images are unlabeled you know select all okay you know select all is this selected all i don't know how many this is selected let me give 100 so that is okay 100 pages okay we select it so 100 selected assign and then we're gonna go assign to ramen click save so it just takes some sometimes it takes some time you can see ramen we have 100 images the labels labeled perfectly so we can say 100 images of ramen so we got to do the same for spaghetti so we'll go import and we'll go select and we'll go first we'll go browse and this is the bucket we selected view child okay and then we'll create another one for so yeah uh, so for that we'll just float it food spaghetti and we'll just click here and select all then open and we will we have oh this okay so this is not the folder wrong folder we go food we go data set we go gcp so if you're wondering all these data set and the images will be available for you in the link in the description of this video so we'll go spaghetti and then click it click all and then open you can see we have 100 files i just wanted to show you that's why i came back so we have 100 files here so just click browse and then we'll go to the same bucket if you want to create and you want to create a folder i mean so that when we go back and see in this bucket we'll be able to organize it so yeah spaghetti okay looks good looks good okay we'll just keep caps as okay no need for that so we'll just note this is the destination for the upload okay so just click on continue so this will take same time as it did for the ramen images so i'll just skip or cut this video and then come back once this is done so now the spaghetti images have been uploaded so if you can see you have a mail it says finished inputting data to the data set so basically the spaghetti images are ready but it to be labeled as you can see so if you see there is a section for unlabeled just click unlabeled so you'll see all the spaghetti images which is not assigned any label so just click 100 images and then yes add a new label so go spaghetti then click done so now we will be able to see it yeah so we'll select all these images and 100 selected and label them as spaghetti okay so save So it's perfectly balanced now. So let's just go train. So if you see it's perfect, you just click start training. No name, yeah, we'll keep it for this. Continue. So just keep it, keep this for now. By default settings and then start training. So training might take a while, as it says, training may take several hours. So I'll just, this as it says, you will be emailed once the training completes. So I'll just skip or cut out this part of the video so that you don't have to wait for this video till this training is done. That would be a waste of your time. So, so as you guys can see, 
the model has been successfully trained let's get it checked so it trained yesterday but i was stuck up with another work so now if you just can see patient is 100 percent which means less false positives if you can see yeah and you can see and then we'll go to evaluate and then we'll see a couple images in there it was split for the test images and training so the confusion matrix says it's 100 percent i hope this is not overfitting as i trust google so okay so we'll do this test and use it Three predictions per second. Okay, we just click deploy. Requesting a model deploy. If this takes quite a lot of time, we'll just skip this video again. We'll just cut this out. Okay. So now the model is deployed. So let's just check some images so please press the rest we'll go here we'll go youtube go no 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 go to youtube data sets food we'll go ramen first so we'll just go in somewhere middle and i will even check for this so it's just predicting oh my god it's predicting perfectly let's just do something hard yeah let's i believe no 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 yes we will do this we'll do for this ram oh my god okay let's just go for spaghetti and we'll go somewhere middle this images okay okay we'll go for this one first oh no this one will be first oh my god it's, it's really beautiful so let's just go simple because i'm pretty sure this would be recognized as spaghetti because of the sauce the meatballs we'll just try for last one Okay, we don't want the sauce, we want something which is similar to ramen. So which one would be similar to ramen? Okay, we'll go with this one. Beautiful. So it's perfectly predicting. So I think Google made a really great job on tweaking the weights and constructing this model. So yeah, if once it's deployed, you'll get a message. So this is a view create the image classification model and train it with your custom images and try your predictions on Google Cloud using AutoML. Thank you everyone. Catch you in another one.